Good morning and welcome to our service. Our opening hymn this morning, number 422, Faith of Our Father. sight of the unwise they seem to die and their departure was taken for misery and they're going away from us for utter destruction but they are in peace and though in the sight of everyone they suffer torments there is hope for full immortality afflicted in few things in many they shall be well rewarded because God has tried them and found them worthy of himself as gold in the furnace he has proved them, and as a victim of a holocaust he has received them, and in time they shall be respected. They just shall shine, and shall run to and fro like sparks among the reeds. They shall judge nations and rule over people, and their Lord shall reign forever. They that trust in him shall understand the truth, and they that are faithful in him shall rest in him for grace and peace is to the elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 116. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came upon me. I was overcome by trouble and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the simple-hearted. When I was in great need, he saved me. 
Be at rest once more, O oh my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, O oh Lord, have, have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our New Testament letter is the first letter of Peter, chapter 1, verses 3 to 9. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, has, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even through refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy, for you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gospel hymn, number 379, O God our help in ages past. sent me wants me to do. I must not lose even one whom God gave me, but I must raise them all on the last day. Those who see the Son and believe in him have eternal life, and I will raise them on the last day. This is what my Father wants. The Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Greater love have no one than this, that they lay down their life for their friends. 
thought I would take a moment today to speak about remembrance with our November the 11th remembrance ceremonies being very uh, low and, and in some places not at all. And today being three days after Remembrance Day, I thought that I would look at it. I served in the military for 21 years from 1974 to 1975. And during those years, few Canadian uh, servicemen or women died in active duty. Certainly nothing like we have seen since I retired in 1995 and our participation in several conflicts and wars. <coughs> Afghanistan being the one which we all know too well. And due to this change from peacekeeping to war, 159 Canadian men and women did not come back from Afghanistan alone. Male and female, colored and white, various ages. Matter of fact, many were 26 years or younger when death arrived at their door. St. Paul wrote in his letter to the Corinthian, uh, to the Christians in Thessalonica, that the dead in Christ will rise first. The dead in Christ will rise first. This is a message which is important for all of us to remember. As we recall the men and women who have died, been wounded physically or mentally, or who have worn the uniform and were prepared to serve wherever their country needed them. And we must also remember and pray for the men and women of this great country who this very day continue to serve, putting themselves into situations which may result in them too giving that ultimate sacrifice. These men and women show a deep love and devotion for their country. They have a similar love and devotion for family and friends, neighbors, and strangers. A level of loyalty and devotion which must never be forgotten nor taken lightly. More than 2,000 years ago, Christ spoke about peace and love and equality, loving your neighbor as yourself, being a good Samaritan, judging others before we, judging ourselves before we judge others. 2,000 years later in places around the world today, women continue to be treated like a lower class, lower than second class, sometimes lower than the working animals which are more valuable than the women are. They continue to, continue to be subservient to their fathers and husbands and older brothers and sometimes younger brothers. Men celebrate the birth of a son, but many would never celebrate the birth of a daughter. Many women cannot be educated. They cannot leave the house without their husband's permission. They must cover themselves from head to toe. Not quite what Jesus had in mind when he told us to love one another. Young boys from a very early age are taught that women are not their equals. They are taught to hate and to fight and to kill. Not quite what Jesus had in mind when he said, bring the little children unto me and forbid them not. We are a country with a moral standard, which calls us to do unto others as we would like them to do unto us an obligation that sometimes asks for that ultimate sacrifice from our military members. They shall not grow old as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor their years contend. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, 
and sits on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Today's intercessions. In our worldwide Anglican prayer cycle, we pray for the Anglican Church of Australia. In our diocesan prayer cycle, we pray for veterans of the Canadian Armed Forces and the Ministry of Armed Forces Chaplains. In our DCS prayer cycle, we pray for St. Peter's Foxley River. We pray for God's gift of help and healing for Nancy Rackham, Lloyd Ross, Pat Willis, Carol McDonald, Sylvia Moore, Helen Strilioff, Bill Ludy, Donna McDougall, Peter Southward, and Lucy and Dave Archer. We pray for our diocesan bishop and synod staff. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hymn number 558, Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, ye soldiers of the cross. Lift high his royal banner, it must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his army he shall lead, till every foe is Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemy, that we surely trust in thy defense, 
may not fear the power of any adversary, through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for grace. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy government to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Our closing hymn, number 16, Abide With Me. through the blue.